Small businesses are often thought of as the key to the American economy, and one in Fort Worth has quietly grown into a, a major international player. It's a 78-year-old company that found the recipe for its success in a jar of salsa. Here's Channel 8's Teresa Woodard. Ghost pepper, green salsa, habanero, black bean, chipotle corn, garlic. As Texan as a love of salsa. Garlic salsa, roasted salsa. Is a respect for our elders, our heritage, our roots. You're very conscious of the fact this speaks for the whole family. Mr. and Mrs. George Renfro started selling spices out of their garage in 1940. They switched to syrup and started manufacturing on this very corner in Fort Worth. Their sons switched to salsa, and 78 years after that scrappy garage startup. My grandmother had a desk about right here. Members of the third generation of Renfro's. I keep thinking, oh, they're looking down on us. Sometimes pinch themselves. She may pinch herself, but she also pinches me. <laughs> They're cousins, they can do that, over just how much they've grown. I remember going to church with them on Sunday, uh, and we always went by the post office on Lancaster, the old post office, to um, pick up to see what checks came in. From that lean start, they found success. We're the ninth biggest brand of salsa out of over 600 tracked in the United States. And I would tell you perseverance and tenacity is more important than intelligence. You can't be an idiot, but you have to be so stubborn. Automation aided the growth. 20 jars a minute to 135 now. 50,000 jars a day, so that's a lot of hot sauce. As did Innovation, one of the first companies to market the intensely hot ghost pepper salsa. They put up a caution sign when preparing it. Taste testing might sound fun. We just came out with the new Carolina Reaper extra hot salsa, and that was not fun. It was strictly work. I lost my sense of taste for about an hour each time. No secret recipe for building a booming family business could ever exist, but the Renfro's credit consistency and creativity. I call it the roller coaster. The highs are high, the lows are low. It's a typical family business. We have a lot of fun. We love seeing our family name on the product. You know, I'm going to be doing inventory this Friday. That's not as fun. A family name and grandma's picture on a jar of spicy salsa. That's Texas, all bottled up. Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. Our congratulations. Renfro Foods was recently named a finalist for a national award for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce.